okay now i'm going to explain you about a covalently modulated enzymes okay covalently modulated enzymes okay next uh, okay let us discuss about Active and inactive form of enzymes are altered, okay, due to covalent modifications of the structures which are catalyzed by other enzymes, okay. This type of regulation consists of the addition or elimination of some molecules which can be attached to the enzyme protein, okay. The most important groups that work as modifiers are phosphate, methyl, uridine, adenine and adenosine diphosphate triposyl. okay it's such type of regulation that means nothing which is covalently modified okay this type of regulation consists of addition or elimination of some molecules which can be attached to the enzyme protein okay the most important groups that work as a modifiers are phosphate, methyl, uridine, adenine and adenosine diphosphate riboside. Okay. These groups are joined to or eliminated from the proteins by other enzymes. Okay. These groups are joined to or eliminated from the protein by other enzymes. The most remarkable covalent modification is by phosphorylation. Okay. A most remarkable covalent modification is phosphorylation. See here, serine, threonine and tyrosine are common amino acids which participate in covalent modifications and are used to control enzymes catalytic activities. Okay, here serine, threonine and tyrosine are common amino acids which are participated in covalent modifications and are used to control enzymes catalytic activities. Okay, these are used to control the enzymes catalytic activities. Okay. Kinase and phosphatases are commonly known enzymes. Okay, here actually kinases and phosphatases are commonly known enzymes that affect these modifications. Okay, which affects these modifications which result in shifting of conformational states of the binding affinity to substrate. Okay, which results in the shifting of conformational states of binding affinity to substrates. See here, this is the phosphorylation structures. Um, phosphorylase B and phosphorylase A. Okay, see so, in uh, R state low off low only. Okay, T state low really off. See, this is the active site and this is the phosphorylation. Okay, this phosphorylation process. Okay, see here in R state low, relaxed state, relaxed state low. Um, the act, uh, active site and the active site the, which is see uh, irreversible reactions to choose contemporary uh, m out on the atp and a uh, inorganic phosphate and the remove that means dephosphorylation and a phosphorylase and enzyme presence for okay atp and the two atp molecules and we remove the inorganic phosphate remove of the term one 2 ADP in the release out on the product and any 2 ADP and the form out on the upward phosphorylase law phosphorylation jerky e r relaxed state and the on out on that means e active site phosphorylation and any bind out the, okay the tense state law question about coda it went to binding and the charagadu upward it could aim out on the it could put in organic phosphate and that means it could a phosphorylase and the dephosphorylation jerky two ADP molecules and every form of the upper phosphorylation jerky the e tenth state lock coda e phosphorylation of an enzyme and the active ka until then matter okay next coming to the point see here phosphorylation this is the problem okay phosphorylation is the addition of phosphate groups to proteins which is the most frequently frequent regulatory modification mechanism in our cells okay this process takes place in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells that means in this type of cells a third or half of the proteins experience phosphorylation okay because of its frequency phosphorylation has a lot of importance in regulatory pathways in cells okay it has a lot of importance in regulatory pathways of cells okay addition of phosphoryl group to an enzyme is catalyzed by 
kinase enzymes while the elimination of this group is catalyzed by phosphatase enzymes okay addition of phosphoryl group to an enzyme is catalyzed by kinase enzyme while elimination of this group is catalyzed by phosphatase enzyme okay here the frequency of phosphorylation as a regulatory mechanism is due to the ease of changing from phosphorylated phosphorylated form to dephosphorylated form okay here frequency of phosphorylation as a occurs as a regulatory mechanism okay it, it is because due to the ease of changing from phosphorylated form to dephosphorylated form that means a two atp molecules and every two adp in the ante ka t phosphorylation jarutundi kadandi okay ante inorganic phosphate okati remove aipothundi okay inorganic pyrophosphate okay phosphorylation or dephosphorylation make the enzyme be functional at the time when the cell needs the reaction to happen okay phosphorylation process kani dephosphorylation process kani enzyme ni em chestundante be functional at the time when the cell needs the reaction to happen okay next coming to the point the effects produced by the addition of phosphoryl addition of phosphoryl group that regulates the kinetics of a reaction can be divided in two groups okay phosphorylation changes the conformation of an enzyme to a more active or inactive way okay here phosphorylation changes the conformation of an enzyme to a more active or inactive way example which is the regulation of glycose and phosphorylase okay each phosphate group contains two negative charges prati phosphate group ki two negative charges kavali anamata okay uh, so the addition of this group can cause an important change in the conformation of the enzyme so here phosphate group contains two negative charges so that's why the addition of this group can cause an important change in the conformation of the enzyme okay phosphate can attract positively charged amino acids or create repulsive interactions with negatively charged amino acids okay phosphate group anedi attract avutundi deniki positively charged amino acids ki okay whereas earlier uh, than it create repulsive interactions that means repulsions are never there with a repulsive interactions that can that means a kind of phosphate group attack out the positively charged amino acids attack me attract charge by okay you can a repulsive charge the amount of nante it repulses the interactions with the negatively charged amino acids okay these interactions can change the conformation and the function of the enzyme e interactions in changes the ante conformation and the function of the enzyme okay when a phosphatase enzyme removes the phosphate group phosphatase enzyme and the phosphate groups ni remove chesthe this enzyme returns to its initial conformation okay aa enzyme anedi dan yokka initial conformation ki return avutundi okay here phosphorylation modifies the affinity of the enzyme to the substrate like that is example which is phosphorylation of isocitrate dehydrogenase which creates the electrostatic repulsion that means which inhibits the union of the substrate to the active center okay em avutundante phosphorylation em chestunnante modifies the affinity of the enzyme to the substrate okay phosphorylation can take place in the active center of the enzyme it can change the conformation of this active center so it can recognize a substrate okay or not okay see here interaction e interactions and positive interactions and negative interactions in that kind that means uh, positively charged interactions which are nothing but attract which in the phosphate group which attracts the okay here the phosphate group which attracts the um, see here the phosphate group which attracts which can attract the positively charged amino acids okay and negatively charged amino acids that means which repulses the interactions with negatively charged amino acids creates the it creates the repulsive interactions with the negatively charged amino acids okay that can change these interactions can change the conformation and function of the enzymes when a phosphatase enzyme removes the phosphate group 
okay phosphatase enzyme anedi phosphate group ni remove chesthe this enzyme returns to its initial conformation okay here phosphorylation modifies the affinity of the enzyme to the substrate okay that means phosphorylation of isocitrate dehydrogenase creates electrostatic repulsion which inhibits the union of the substrate to the active center okay um, phosphorylation can take place in the active center of the enzyme that means it can change the conformation of this active site so it can recognize the substrate or not okay this is the overview of covalently modified and modulated enzymes okay thank you